welcome or welcome back to my channel in case you don't know who i am hi my name is kaylin i make bookish videos here on youtube and i'm also on tiktok and instagram you should totally follow me over there and today's video is going to be a reading vlog but not only just a reading vlog finishing a series i'm in the middle of reading vlog and that series is throne of glass currently i'm doing the tandem read i have tower of dawn on my kindle and then empire storms in person kingdom of ash i don't have yet so we'll have to go get that eventually during this vlog i started the tandem read last week and i put it on pause because i was filming another video and i thought why not just make this its own separate reading vlog so i'm not that far into the tandem read I'm 190 pages into Empire Storms, which sounds far, but when this book is, what, six over 600 pages long, you're not that far into it. And I think I'm like chapter 17 on Tower of Dawn. So, so that's where I'm at, and I'm going to tell you a little bit more how I'm feeling about this series in a little bit, but my timer just went off for dinner, so I will meet you guys back here after dinner or sometime later. So I am going to have a little bit of my favorite flavor of ice cream. Well, one of my favorite flavors, and that's Black Raspberry Dark Chocolate Chunk from Private Selection, which is a Kroger brand, but all-time favorite is cookie dough. But I thought I would sit down and do a little bit of reading. It is currently Sunday night, aka House of the Dragon night. It's currently 7.30, so I'll probably read for an hour and then get into bed and get ready for House of the Dragon. I want to talk a little bit about my journey with Throne of Glass. So I started Throne of Glass last October, and I read it when I was at a cabin with my family and i think that was just the perfect time every time i think of throwing a glass and crown of midnight and a little bit of air fire my brain just goes to the cabin and it's a really good memory for me so throwing a glass and crown of midnight i absolutely love those books okay and then when i was at the cabin i didn't have assassin's blade so i just went ahead and started air fire that was my mistake right there should have listened to everyone and read assassin's blade first but the thing with assassin's blade is i actually really hated it I did not like Assassin's Blade. I am on the side that thinks it's kind of like not really necessary. Like, like I feel like you could read the series and go on without it. But if you want to read it, read it first. If you don't want to read it, don't read it. That's how I feel, even though I know a lot of you are going to be like, no, it's necessary for the storyline and especially in the later books. I don't think so. I think you can get by without reading it because you get to know the world and the characters throughout the book and you get to know what happens. Not in every detail but i think it was just an unnecessary book and if it i just i could go on a tangent so put me in a slump queen of shadow i had a really hard time getting back into because i just read assassin's blade and it had been since october since i picked a throne of glass book up so i read queen of shadows in june and so I think I just waited too long to get back into the series and I wasn't as excited. Finished Queen of Shadows and I was ready to go into Empire Storms. Empire Storms and Tower Dawn I've struggled with. Tower Dawn, to be frank, bored me to death until I get to a certain point and now I'm really loving it a lot and I'm really loving Empire Storms so much. I really love the witch's POV in this. She's slowly becoming a favorite character of mine. Like I absolutely hated her. POVs and air fire. I was like snooze fest, but I'm really loving them. So we're going to start with Tower of Dawn. Actually, the last time I picked you guys up to update you guys on how this series is going for me so forgive me but I took a break from it because I needed to film other videos so that this video can take its time because the last thing I'm gonna do with this video is rush it so we're taking our time with it and I'm actually really enjoying myself so let me update you guys where I'm at in each book so Empire Storms I I am on chapter 31, page 277, 
and I'm really liking this book a lot and Tower of Dawn I'm at 53% and I'm I'm actually kind of loving Tower of Dawn more which is shocking because you follow um Kale's point of view is that how you say his name I think that's how you say his name you follow Kale's point of view and I haven't really liked Kale since everything happened and um I liked him in Crown of Midnight and then my perspective changed of him in Air of Fire but I think Tower of Dawn is very essential because you kind of get to know more about him and his inner workings of his brain and also you see him in a different light which I think is really nice and also you see him pick himself back up after what happened to him and him trying to come to terms with it and like trying to heal from it and all that and I think I'm a big believer in everything happens for a reason and while yes what happened to him was awful but there's a reason why it happened to him and I think the reason is coming to light in Tower of Dawn and I'm really enjoying it. I'm actually like really excited to pick up Tower of Dawn every single time I pick it up. In part of the storms I am enjoying but it takes me a minute once I get back into it I'm like oh yeah but I love like certain POVs we're getting from this like I love the witch's POV. Me and the witch haven't really got along. <laughs> Air fire. I'm like why are we what's going on? Why are we learning all this? I know it has something to do with the story but like I am incredibly bored with it learning like the witch's background and all that. like I did not care I didn't really care for the witch's POV until I want to say like this book is really when it like hit me that I'm like oh I actually really like this girl and I'm loving oh it's her name there's another certain character that's kind of tied to the witch that I don't want to say because like, I think it may give away something but I'm really liking her and her story and I'm really interested to see like where her story goes and how she like just all how it all wraps up but i'm feeling like this has taken me such a long time but i gotta remember to tell myself i'm literally reading two books that are chunky at the same time so duh it's gonna feel like it's taking forever and the one thing i will say with this tandem rain that i was really nervous about that the thing that is happening is it takes me a minute to get into the story and once i'm in it i have to switch back to the other book and i'm like well shit and that my brain just can't comprehend that i'm like reading it like one book in my brain there's still two separate books because that's essentially what they are but i wish my brain could could get it together like this is one book and we're reading as one book it's the same book so i think that's my struggle and why it's taken me so long to get to this point but i'm really hoping to finish this book series or at least these two books at the end of the week it's currently tuesday so we shall see i am filming another video on friday i think that's not gonna be these guys because i know for a fact i will not finish empire storms tower dawn and kingdom of ash and i know kingdom of ash is like a really chunky book all within like a week and i know that's not gonna happen so i'm gonna go ahead and film a separate video on friday just so i have one more video that i'm like okay we're good so yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to update you guys on i am gonna continue reading and i will catch you guys later hi guys i have some updates with the tandem read so i'm now at the part where it's the big chunk you gotta read you gotta read like 20 chapters until you go back into tower of dawn so that's where i'm out so i'm guessing something goes down in those 20 chapters but i actually bought this and kingdom of ash on my kindle because honestly i can't i just can't be bothered to hold a big chunky book anymore and reading in bed is so annoying with a book. I love reading on my Kindle in my bed. So I just went ahead and bought them. Plus I'm going to the pool. That's why I look like this and I'm all shiny because I got sunscreen on. I'm all lathered up. I'm about to go to the pool and just read my Friday away because it is gorgeous outside. Taking you guys with me. Duh. But I spent the morning editing last week's vlog. So go check that out if you didn't. And it's now almost 1130. I wanted to be at the pool by 1030 but you know what? It's fine. The vlog is edited. It's currently exporting. The thumbnail's done. I'm golden. So I'm going to spend the rest of the day at the pool and maybe get a little sun because I am very pale. But of course, we're going to be protected by sunscreen because sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. But I just, you know, going to the beach in like two months or a month and a half, I just don't want to be pale because the sun down there is something different than the sun in the Midwest. Okay. So I will update you guys after the pool officially, but enjoy the b-roll of me reading this at the pool. I am hoping I will get more into Empire Storm since I'm going to be here for a big chunk of time and I'm hoping I'll really like it, but 
I will talk to you guys later. If you can hear like water running or something, it's my fish tank. Water change day is tomorrow, so just ignore that sound. I'm so sorry if it's annoying, but it is much later and I have a reading update. So I read 100 pages at the pool today. I was there for like, I wanna say like two hours-ish. And this just makes me realize like fantasy takes me so long to read 100 pages because the other weekend when I was at the pool, I read a, like a, I think it's a well, woman's fiction with like a little bit of romance and I read 200 pages in the span of two hours. So I read different genres and at different speeds which is really interesting but i am now on chapter 43 page 401 of empire storms and you guys we have nine chapters left until we switch over back to tower of dawn so i can get back into that world because i'm really really loving tower of dawn i really like this one too let me read you a quote that i highlighted and i don't think this is going to be a spoiler it says i love you there is no limit to what i can give to you no time i need even when this world is a forgotten whisper of dust between the stars i will love you literally i was reading that in the pool and i was kicking and screaming my feet like i was literally holding it in love it so much stuff is moving along in this book things were going down in this book in this book we discovered something that is her name aelin i call her aelin is that right aelin can do with a certain thing she has i'm trying to give like really minimal spoilers so that happened and that was real also, another certain character came back into the storyline and met up with Aelin Rowan and like all of them. The first encounter this character had with Aelin was not great. And so this time Aelin's like, I'm saving you, you're my prisoner type thing. And I'm really intrigued to see like where all that is going. And yeah, I'm really, really liking it. So I am actually going to read some more. I have my ice cream here. Mel is doing public reading sprints. I'm going to go to reading and do my ice cream. I think I'm just going to read for like a little bit and then maybe find a movie or something to watch in my bedroom because I'm really craving that. I'll probably read for like 40-ish minutes. I'll read till 9 o'clock. It's 8.25 now, so I'll read till 9. So let's get to reading. Obviously, I am in a new location. I am at my parents' house in their backyard reading. It's a very sunny day. It's actually really hot. I'm about to go inside after I update you. But I just wanted to update you guys where I'm at with my tandem read. So I'm both 78% like of the way through both Empire of Storms and Tower of Dawn. And I am just really struggling with this series and I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I've put so much pressure on myself that I should be loving the series because everyone loves the series. And because I'm not, I'm feeling like something, I'm like missing something. There's something I'm not getting with it. I just am not sure. So I'm kind of feeling a little bit of a letdown with it. I think I'm just not obsessed with it. and. You know what, I think that's okay. Sometimes you have different opinions from your fellow peers and that's totally normal. And I don't know, I feel like if maybe if I would have read this series back to back to back to back to back when I started in October, I feel like maybe I would have loved it. And if I didn't read Assassin's Blade, I think I would have loved it more. But I think I'm just kind of over this world because I've been reading it for so long. I'm just kind of over it and I want it to be done and I want to move on to something else which is not a great feeling to have. But with that being said, when I am reading both Empire Storms and Tower of Dawn and I get into it, I'm really loving them. I just have a hard time wanting to pick them up. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. But things are happening. Relationships are forming. All of our characters are now meeting up with each other, um, except for a couple but pretty much the ones you follow in empire storms they've all come together as of now and i think things are about to kick off hopefully but yeah those are pretty much my thoughts and my feelings with 
where I'm at in Throne of Glass. I'm really sorry this video is taking me so long to film. I've been filming this since I think like the end of June or something like that and it's about to be the end of July so a month now which is crazy but you know it's okay we'll get there eventually. I wonder how long it's gonna take me to read Kingdom of Ash. I'm hoping Kingdom of Ash won't take me this long to read but it might we'll see so maybe you guys won't see this video until august something who knows maybe september i don't know but you'll see it eventually i'm gonna go back to reading get some reading done and i will update you guys when i've finished both empire of storms and tower of dawn guys i am literally on the last chunk of empire of storms and the tandem read i have like six chapters left i am terrified of what is about to happen at the end of this book like terrified and then i have uh tower of dawns to finish but like i'm so scared according to kindle i have an hour and like 20 minutes left which i don't know how true that is but we're gonna finish this book together we'll see how it ends i'm very scared but let's finish the book Guys, I have just finished Empire Storms and Tower of Dawn. I thoroughly enjoyed Empire Storms. I really liked Empire Storms a lot. It may be one of my favorites of the entire series. Crown of Midnight, I loved Crown of Midnight and I know a lot of people don't like Crown of Midnight, but I love Crown of Midnight so much. And I don't know, Empire Storms was so fun. There were so many moving parts to it, so many people you met, so many more characters you got to like know on a more of a personal level, connect with them more, have their storylines progress, and I just really loved it. I'm really glad I did the tandem read. I listened to y'all once and I did something right and did the tandem read. <laughs> and it, it really made so much more sense even though it took me like almost a month to read both books, it's okay. But I will say I have read the first chapter of Kingdom of Ash. I have no thoughts yet. I'm on chapter one. I'm really scared how this book is going to end though. I'm really, it, this series hasn't made me cry yet, but I'm, I'm, I'm betting this book may because I've been on a roller coaster with these characters. You know, there's been so many ups and downs, so many losses, so many like just progression and like degression and there's just been so many things and I feel like this may be the book to make me cry but I am going to take a break from it because I've got another video to film so I'm just glad we're on the last book of this video so I will see you guys when I pick up the book again hi friends it has been a couple weeks since I've spoken to you guys I've had to film some other videos took a break from the throne of glass series and we're back I don't know if you can tell by my voice but I am battling some sort of cold I've been sick for like the past four days and I'm getting over it for sure I sound worse than what I feel but I have made progress in kingdom of ash I'm now 30% of the way through kingdom of ash and I think I made the right choice by getting them on my kindle because I just read them faster and I can read them in bed comfortably with the lights off on my side if you know you know and I can't say much about this book because it's a spoiler free vlog but I am really enjoying this book so far I'm very nervous how this book is going to affect me like I'm pretty sure it's gonna break my heart I'm not 100% sure but I'm like 98% sure it's gonna break my heart I already had a little moment in the book where I thought it was gonna break my heart but like it didn't something happened something great happened anyways there are certain chapters in this book from Aelin's POV that break my heart make me physically sick to read them because I love Aelin so much and I'm just like oh no she's probably one of my favorite female main characters I've ever read from and she's gonna stick with me for a while but like those chapters killed me and there was a moment in the book that you really truly saw how much Aelin cares for someone who she 
includes in her inner circle like she is a ride or die for you she will do anything to help you to save you to make you comfortable to make you feel loved like anything and there was a moment of where that happened something she got uh, i'm trying to say this without spoiling it but basically she got she was in a situation and she got out of it finally and instead of seeing the person that she's been wanting to see for so long has been dreaming of this person and just like can't wait to get back to this person hoping this person will come for her and blah blah blah, blah. she sees that person and instead of embracing this person and like having that moment she says she tells this person she says a name and the person just goes and so that truly shows like how just much she cares for people in her inner circle and i just i love her so much so i am very curious to see like what's going to be the conclusion of the throne of glass series i like i said am nervous um i'm really liking it so far i'm reading this quicker than i was the tandem read thank god let's hope this book doesn't take me a month to read but i just wanted to quickly pop on and say my thoughts before i read any more because i realize i haven't really talked to you guys at all since finishing the tandem read so i'm gonna read more of this and i will talk to you guys in a bit <laughs> just finished Kingdom of Ash and I feel a little empty. I feel like I've been on such a journey with these characters for so long and now it's over with and I'm just like so what do I do now? I think I'm mourning because I wish I would have had a better time with this series. I'm also mourning that I will never read this for the first time ever again in my entire life and getting to know the surprises and being shocked and like having your heart ripped out and then falling in love with these characters and falling in love with who they fall in love with and it's just like I will never feel that again with this series and I don't know I'm just a little sad that it's over with. Keaton Bash did get me not full on sobbing like I I know a lot of people like sobbed through this book and I can understand why I just I just didn't I think it's because I didn't have like that great a time with this series. I did enjoy it overall but I just I'm not one of the throne of glass girlies that like ride or die love this series. I think it's a good series especially if you want to get into fantasy that's not so heavy, heavily focused in the romance aspect and it's more of like a plot fantasy I think you will this is I think this is a great series for that but I don't know there was something amiss with me in it and I I wish I could go in my brain and like know what it is and what exactly like didn't click with me but something just didn't click with me I'm done I can't believe I'm done I started this video I think the beginning of July end of June and it's now almost middle of August. So I hope you have enjoyed coming along for this adventure with me. It was a very interesting one. It didn't go the way I thought it was going to go. I thought I was going to absolutely love this series. But that's okay. I would love to know if you are on the side of this is an absolute favorite series. Or if you're like this was okay. Not my favorite. But I did like it. Let me know. I would love to know. Remember to be kind to yourself and others around you. And I will see you guys very very soon.